introduction what i'm going to do hello and welcome to another episode of moments with shade and enoch on jambo radio i was actually just going to tell the guests and my co host that when i i'll pass move on for them to sort of um, introduce themselves so i am okay. enoch and i'm here with my co-host i'm shade and juliet and our guest agogo and Tosiogo. yeah we know it we know it without <laughs> practice <laughs> welcome to moments with shade and enoch as i said we, we've got an interesting conversation to be had this evening around managing finances as a couple you know it's it's a bone of contention within a lot of relationships so Tosin and Agogo have kindly accepted to join us this evening and share their own journey and hopefully we can all learn and we can all um, take something away from it if you'd like to join us on the show today you can call us it's 0141-530-2787 you can also send us a whatsapp it's 074-59-906822 and you can join us on Facebook as well, Jambo Radio Scotland. And also on Twitter, I think it's Hex now, actually. So at Jambo Radio 1. And if you're on Instagram, like myself, I'm always, I live and breathe on Instagram these days. Uh, at Jambo Radio Scotland. And um, you can send us an email on info at Jambo Radio .co .uk. Also, you can download the Jambo Radio app on your Android phone or using the App Store, actually. So financial management, financial disagreement, it's been, so I did a bit of research and financial disagreement is actually one of the reasons for divorce. Is that a surprise to anyone? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> it was a surprise to me, it was a surprise to me. But <laughs> maybe because I'm an accountant, I was thinking that should go without saying, but apparently it's, a, it's one of the reasons listed for, and this is in the UK and I'm guessing that that probably cuts across the world around why a lot of our marriages and a lot of relationships fail and you know Agogo and Tosin have joined us today to share their journey from you know getting together getting into a relationship starting a family then navigating that journey around who okay we actually have to manage our finances as a couple and some of the mistakes they've made lessons learned and so sort of where they are on that journey so hopefully they can share some of that with us today my co-host Juliet and Shade have got some probing questions for them so yes, hopefully we can have a, a really good conversation <laughs> and get some things out of out of today's um today's show yeah yeah looking forward to it yeah very excited to be here by the way <laughs> so Agogo yes. in less than 30 seconds mm -hmm. can you tell our listeners who Agogo is without telling them what you do for work Sure. Um, so I guess I can see where I'm from. <laughs> I am Nigerian American. I came to the UK about 16 years ago yeah. um, to study. I won't say what. Um, <laughs> and I met my husband. And I'm stuck in the UK right now for love. Um, <laughs> I am, <laughs> I am a creative. I am well, number one. I'm God fearing. I'm a wife. I'm a mother. I'm a friend. I'm a creative. I'm very passionate. Um, yeah, I think I'm self-aware in terms of characteristics, and I won't say what I do, but I am working in the corporate field, I guess you would say, corporate UK, not corporate America, but yeah, <laughs> I think that's more than 30 seconds, so I want to close <laughs> <laughs> Okay, same for you, Tosin, you're not left out, so just then, 30 seconds or less than, just tell us who Tosin is without talking about work or what you did. Tosin Ogulesi is an independent thinker. He's a very analytical minded. He's a father, husband first, then a father. Um, also likes to dabble into creative endeavors, mm -hmm. um, you know, um, visual, visual design and things like that. Okay. Uh, also work in corporate UK um, and uh, yeah, I think. Okay. Yeah. So, so you're both creatives then, from the sounds of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Which yeah. in itself has its own interesting. <laughs> 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 it's it's I like, great. I like, I like what you did there. So, since said, so is a father. Father first. Oh, he's a husband first. <laughs> <laughs> Funny. He yeah. could have been a father. He could have been a father without being a husband. Yeah, like, I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm gonna, gonna get in trouble tonight. Yeah. So I'm gonna have his face. I'm a god fearing Christian. He says, deal, use, use wisdom. I know. Why I'm dealing with. <laughs> and, and I'm, I'm always fascinated by names. So you've got some great names in there. You've got Agogo, yeah. you've got Ogunlesi. So do you want to give me a bit, again, as quickly as you can, what does Agogo I mean? Where is this from? What does Ogunlesi mean? Where, where is it from? 
Yeah, so you want to go first, babe? No, you go first. Okay. Uh, I go go is an Urobo name and it means joy. Urobo yeah. from where? Which Delta country? State and Delta Nigeria. In Nigeria, right. Yeah. Okay. It means joy. Joy. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Happiness, okay. joy. Yeah. Okay. And fun fact I was in my culture, well, in my family, the eldest male on the paternal side names the children. So all my cousins from like the 80s and early Ooh. 90s were all named by Papa Soho. Yeah. So wow. that's, that's my maiden name. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> no pressure, right? <laughs> 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 if I was the eldest male, I would like, Oluwatosi um, Ogunlesi. I'll start with Ogunlesi. Ogunlesi. Uh, was, was passed down from my great grandfather, who was a an iron smith, mm -hmm. and Ogun is the god of iron mm -hmm. in where I come from, Ogun State in Nigeria, West Africa, um, is, and it was almost a way of saying uh, the god of iron provides. Mm -hmm. um, you know, that's the, the literal. Well, the literal sort of translation is is iron pro, um, is the answer, Ogun mm -hmm. Lacy. Okay. Uh, but it was just a way of you know saying this is how we get our income type thing. And oh, Lacy yeah. respo yeah. like, yes. has a response. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. He answers all the okay. money problems. Okay. 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 <laughs> uh, and then uh, Oluwatosi is God is worthy to be praised. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Heavy, heavy, heavy. yeah, that's that's yeah, both beautiful names. Yeah. I'm surprised Thanks. I'm just knowing that Agogo means joy. Like that's what they after all these. Oh. Well, <laughs> 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 that's <laughs> and what's <laughs> <laughs> important. <laughs> Which is equally fashion, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It could be an investment, oh and all if you didn't know finances, you know. <laughs> What they call it nowadays, <laughs> young people, they call it girl math, isn't it? Yes, yes. Yeah, girl math. math. Yeah. That's yeah. a master. Yeah. No, no, yeah. Okay. I'll get you. 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 So just to set this in, how did you both meet? I'm guessing this was before Tinder or anything like that? Yeah, it was before Thank Tinder. I'll, I think I'm, ask, I'll, let me ask a girl yeah, first. Yeah, there's his okay. I know, there's always two sides to it. <laughs> Uh, we met at Bradford, so I had come to study. I won't say what I was coming to study for. Um, and I think at the end of my first year, I went to a redeemed cookout to see a friend. Uh, and I always say I think Tosin turned around to say hi to me because of my American accent, because obviously I'm in the, the UK, I'm in Minority. Bradford of all places. And I'm like, mm -hmm. who's that American? Mm -hmm. um, so he turned around to say hi to me. We spoke for a quick moment. Um, and at that time, I was really homesick. I had been in the UK for a year, but it's like a definitely a culture shock mm -hmm. and then being in Bradford was a double entendre because I'm like okay I'm in Bradford as well mm -hmm. so I couldn't wait to leave to go back to America the next day mm -hmm. so I went on a rant about the UK he says that back then he's thinking like who is this girl that's talking about the UK this way me I come here to like you know what did you say I've come here to come and settle down like oh, man, 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 this girl should be going <laughs> yeah so I went back to the, U to the US for the summer came back and I re-met him at a Muyua concert so we always had this joke that you know if you ever meet Muyua he's a Christian gospel concert um, a, sorry Christian gospel artist so I'm like, you know, thank you for coming to Bradford because that's what we actually started to meet. And that's okay. what we re-met. Um, okay. And I asked him, I went to the corner and said, hey, um, how are you? He was like, I'm fine. I'm like, I'm, I saw everybody around. I, I didn't remember who this guy was. I, I knew I had met him, but I didn't know his name. So I went up to him being bold, the American that I am. I was like, hey, how are you? He's like, I'm fine. I was like, do you remember me? He's like, yes, what's my name? Exactly. Like, what's my name? And I was like, Ish. I didn't remember. <laughs> um, and then he said something that kind of like clicked to me. He said, here's my number, call me. I'm thinking, who is this guy saying, here's my number, call me. Like, all the guys on Bradford. You know? And fun <laughs> fact, before, I went to Howard in D.C. before I came mm. here. And I have a lot of cousins who are like, you know, half Yoruba or half Edward or half Delta State. And I was like... I'm not marrying a Yoruba guy. <laughs> <And> <laughs> for different reasons. And I was thinking, their, their mouth is too sweet. I don't know if I can, you know, if, it, if it's an Igbo guy, if he buys you a pencil, he likes you. You know what I mean? So this is very analytical for me to like guard my heart. And I met him, I'm thinking, really? God, this is this is the one? Different but yeah, but yeah. Oh, Yoruba. Yoruba angels, as they call it. Oh. This, this is, this is new yeah, so no, I prefer the Yoruba demons. Oh, that's interesting. But yeah, so we, we were friends and started dating a couple months later, and okay. the rest is history. Rest is and my so, mom was very happy because oh, at that okay. time, you know, like Nigerian women, they always say, Oh, go to school, don't have a boyfriend. And then I finished from how, and they're like, Where is he? I was like, Who? I'm like, Your boyfriend. <laughs> I said, You sure I shouldn't have a boyfriend? I don't, I don't have one. So literally, when I came to Bradford, get a boyfriend, get a boyfriend. I was like, Mom, getting a boyfriend is not an issue. It's actually getting somebody that I like that mm -hmm. I want to get married. It's okay. Just just find somebody now for, the, for now. For now. I'm like, No. I'll find somebody <laughs> that I like. Contract, contract you know, you know, you know. So when I met him, she's like, Where's he from? I was like, He's Nigerian. She's like, Okay, okay. See a Christian? Yes. Okay. That's, that's all I care. That's, oh. that's all I care about. Nice. Yeah, nice. So. Nice. Oh, nice. 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 For the beginning. But yeah, nice. Nice. So you go on. Yeah, I, I think most of it was. Correct. Well, and I'll add in a few details. Uh -oh. Like, uh -oh. The location uh -oh. and logistics, uh -oh. yes. <laughs> it was when we, I was studying my master's, she was here for her second degree, I think. And then 
Yeah, heard her, heard her before I saw her. That mm-hmm. one was key. So um, where was this place actually? So just to set you, an if, imaginary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you think about it, it was a barbecue. It was okay. opposite the the school library. Library, okay. yeah. Okay. And it was like okay. an amphitheater type um, grass. So the grass, the landscaping was such that the barbecue stand was at the bottom. Okay. But everyone who was eating was at the top. Mm. So I was there on the barbecue, and then she was at the top so i heard her all the way yeah. from mm. the, but, but went upstairs okay. chatted a bit that was it right okay. the, mm-hmm. at the mirror concert it was more of um what happened yeah 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 she, i didn't even go i came late yeah yeah, yeah yeah so this was outside <laughs> afterwards when everybody's chatting okay. after we cleared up all the sound and things like that i've got a third guest as well <laughs> oh yeah we do, we this do, is corey to me say hi corey say hi yeah yeah you know swag right you guys have <laughs> yeah. to do their thing so she forgot my name so i was like no i'm not getting my number you get my number because you know that was like retribution or whatever it is for <laughs> forgetting my name and then i walked off right <laughs> going home next thing i just heard footsteps I saw him pretty heavy. <laughs> you forgot <laughs> one digit, one digit. So let me interject. Like, like, being, an, being an American, I didn't, I didn't know how many numbers the UK numbers had. So at this time, I was this is like BB BBM days, right? Yeah. Blackberry days. Yeah. So I was like, okay. UK numbers have such and such number of digits and I was like look at the numbers like, oh he, he forgot a digit I didn't run after him <laughs> he happened to be walking back down the atrium and I said hey you know the number you gave to me is missing a digit but he claims I ran after him but that but makes him happy the fact I checked means you, you won't yeah, 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 okay. you know what's so funny I didn't call him for like another month if you that because it was Nigeria it was Nigeria Independence Day I didn't call him for like Okay, it's sorry right. to make him feel it's happy. Right. Yes, I was so it's smitten right. that I ran after him <laughs> to look no, for this extra digit. Yeah. Okay, yeah. sorry. Yeah, yeah I, right. I, I was, I was right. panting and running after the love of my life. Sorry. <laughs> I'm thank God you did, that, you know. Yeah. Yeah. No, thank seriously, God, yeah. seriously. That's such an interesting story, actually, for the books. But yeah. what I want to understand is, so you guys were friends first, yeah? I guess you can say that. It was only like two months before yeah. we were official. But yeah, yeah, I guess you started off as friends, yeah. Okay, so do you guys have have discussions about finances how it was going to be after marriage did you have any of those type of conversations before you got married before we got married yet yeah, before we were dating no but before we got married definitely okay. definitely definitely yeah okay we spoke about a lot of things before we got yeah married. you know the we're top quite, three yeah. things that you talk about they say you should talk about mm-hmm. oh, what, what money, money money sex and kids. religion no, and uh, yeah. okay yeah. all right yeah. Yeah. something now they yeah. msr <laughs> 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 oh, so this one. Okay. Which one is the most important? <sighs> Man. Is it money? Is it religion? Is it? I don't know. Looking back, I, I do think, think religion, religion is very important. Yeah. Sorry, mm-hmm. I think it. Sorry. So, what you know yeah. now, which how do you rank them? Let's not get into religion. Um, <laughs> yeah. No, no, I mean, how we do rank the importance what of MSR? It? Knowing what you know now, a few years down into the marriage. I think they I all have think? different nuances. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so That's I think a political and size. Yeah, I think <laughs> <laughs> and, yeah. and, and it's been said that we do emulate our parents when we yeah. make decisions. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So would you say the the way your parents manage money? So this is for your Google. Would you say mm-hmm. it impacted how you then went into your relationship when you started out oh. to manage money? Yes, it impacted, but I don't do it like my parents. So for example, uh, my father and I are very close. I mean, we're all very close in our, in our, in our family, but my dad and I are like two pieces in the pod. Um, and I saw how my parents manage their money and I knew that I don't want to do that when I get married. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? So I think when, you're, when, you, when you have your parents around, you take the good and the bad and you're just like, okay, or, like or, or, or what you yeah. don't yeah. see. And you're like, okay, I like how they do this, but mm-hmm. I'm about to do this when I get married. Yeah. Um, and my dad, I never forget when we got married, um, he made a very, he made a joke about me, a, a joke, and then he now said, you know, when you get married, you did three ways to do things when it comes to finances. The first one is you both have separate accounts. The second one, he, he said, and that's foolish. Don't ever, don't ever, no, no, sorry. He said, you both have second separate accounts. I said, okay, cool. He said, the second one is you both have a joint account and separate accounts. Okay. I said, okay. And third option is you guys have a joint account. He said, that's so foolish. Don't you ever have a, a joint account. That's, that's foolishness. No, so I was like, okay cool <laughs> thanks thanks that for the advice you know um and but how my parents managed they had separate accounts mm-hmm. and i knew as son told i knew my who, who paid for the mortgage who paid for school fees who paid for the food who paid for the light bill i knew who paid for everything and i think in hindsight it was great as an adult but i think as a kid i was like why am i knowing all this information you know what i mean mm-hmm. so i kind of thought 
mm, I like it, but I think I like to do things a bit different when I get married. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Lovely. Interesting. And for you to say, at what point in your marriage did you start seeing finance as an issue? So when I say, I, 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 I well, I don't know. Uh, we know our last name. I know. It seems to me. That moment, no, you, yeah, no, you. I knew I was gonna ask, and I was thinking of different ways I could paraphrase or change the question mm-hmm. to make mm-hmm. it very subtle. But yeah. honestly, that was the best I could come up with. So, yeah. uh, okay, thanks for. <laughs> yeah. so for it, what, how much? How much vulnerability? What the vulnerability? Yeah, treasure? Vulnerable. Okay, okay, fine. I think people will learn from this. Yeah, I think. I think yeah. it was. A, it was a. We had already started talking about money, right? Yeah, and we'd already started the wedding and yeah, we, we started managing so it together. After wedding or before? After wedding. wedding. Okay. okay. After let's, wedding. Let's even go a step, like a couple of years back before we even got married. So I'm going to sound very spoiled when I say this. So even in university, yeah, um, I didn't work for my second degree, right? So my parents would give me money, then I did a placement. I'd make money from that every now and then. Mm-hmm. And then as a fashion person, I used to always like resell my stuff or like sell my designs. But then plus was like, oh, what are your bills? So I was like, why? So I can give you an allowance every month for your bills. Like, really okay you know <laughs> so Tosin, he already yeah. showed that you could like give me i mean he wasn't giving me everything but he gave yeah. me something on top the phone bills or something it was more than that yeah. but um <laughs> <laughs> but like i didn't know how privileged i was then so i already saw that this was a man that like if you need if for your necessities he would be willing to help if that mm. makes sense even though i didn't need it but if he was gonna offer i wasn't gonna say no mm. i'm not dumb mm-hmm. so i just you know i had that as well so we already had a sense of like budgeting i guess in that instance of yeah. like and if we're going on vacation or going yeah. to travel like oh how much did this cost so yeah. we were very free we're talking about money yeah. early on in our friendship and relationship okay. fast forward to after the marriage oh right? yeah <laughs> now, yeah <laughs> There's a very interesting story, right? I <laughs> can see where that, it happened. That's, why I, asked that. that's why I asked that because yeah. I think it was, you know, so it, I think it was a month or two when you came over from the US. It wasn't even a before month. Before you started like working. Yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah. so when she started working, you know, so it was me footing all the bills, mortgage, everything. And then <sighs> so she started working, right? <laughs> and then... I was like, okay, yeah, yeah, okay, first month, just, you know, do whatever you want with your salary. I, I didn't say that. Okay. It was just unspoken. Okay. Second month, yeah, I think maybe third month in. <laughs> I was like, okay, yeah, yeah, we probably need to sit down and decide <laughs> what bills you're paying or what bills I'm paying. And she was shocked. <laughs> she was like, bills? Why am I paying bills? And my exact words were, because you live here. <laughs> <laughs> and then something in my head was like, click, like, oh, yeah, it's true. Okay. Yeah, 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 exactly. I guess and I, I think should think I don't know if I said you have to move from daughter mode to wife mode. Right? <laughs> um, mm. Although, you know, it, it goes without saying, there's mm. some men who foot the entire bill. <laughs> but in the economy, world yeah. economy we're in now, mm. that's that's all different. And I always thought that if if you wanted to play that role as a wife, ah, I'm going to get roasted for this all over. You wouldn't go to school. Go ahead. Yeah, sorry. don't go to school. That's not like, true. Just go to how to please a man's school. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, and you know, live that life from scratch right? so i would say like especially white women in america they are taught to go to university to get a degree and a missus degree they're, they're literally leaving with their engagement rings at graduation so mm. and then i heard somebody else say like in corporate uh in the corporate in the uk because she's in finance that all of her white women friends that like marry like high like let's say i hate that red pill word but like high uh, high enough mm-hmm. high value mm-hmm. men but whatever mm-hmm. you know high earners i'll mm-hmm. say that yeah because you could be a high value man but low in you know, other areas but yeah so she said that most of her white counterparts when they get pregnant they disappear mm-hmm. they never work okay. a day in their life again right so i think it's a tactic to go to university to meet men of a certain oh, okay. caliber <laughs> to mean. get married. Then I just want to marry. You know what I mean? Yeah. So okay. I just I I think that we should do more. Like if I have a daughter, I would say like you know when, when you're in university, keep your eyes open. So I went to Howard, for example, and a lot of people who are engineering now are doing fantastic in mm-hmm. life, right? Mm-hmm. But, but we we weren't checking for the engineering guys. Like they were like the the nerds, or the yeah. geeks, whatever. Mm-hmm. Like and you had some handsome ones, but they were the geeks, and you didn't want the, you want the fine guys on campus on the yard, like you know. And I remember two years after I graduated, I was going to New York to see my friend who was in med school. <clears throat> and I came back and I saw her on a bus and I was like, hey, are you at Howard? She's like, yeah. She's like, are you a sophomore? She said, I'm, I'm going to be a junior. I said, listen to me. 
You don't know me, <laughs> but get a guy in the engineering department <laughs> now because in five, ten years, mm-hmm. they're going to be the ones it. who are making it. Basically, tech bros. Like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, um, I think we, I didn't have that. I never dated for like, I guess, status or I want to marry, mm. you know, a certain type of way. In hindsight, I'm happy how I married, but I think it is a conversation to have. I agree. But, um, yeah. I agree. But, yeah, I mean, I, I, and I've met men who foot the bill, like, pay 100%. I don't think I've ever met a man that pays 100% of everything. I'm like, mm, I would have married him. Like, every guy that has said that to me, I'm just like, mm, nah, mm-hmm. kind of thing. But I, I'm not opposed to it. If, I mean, if, if one day, Tosin, you come and say, babe, you know what? Yeah, I mean, Quit. I'm like, yes. We'll pray for that, babe. We'll pray for financial freedom. So. Yeah, I'm just saying, I guess the states, the, the traditional roles mm-hmm. were at yeah, a time wise. where eco- economic circumstances were different. That's what mm-hmm. I'm trying yeah. to say. Mm-hmm. It was totally different. Interest rates. You know, <laughs> the world in general could, I mean, you could get a job and afford to pay everything as, as one individual mm. in, back in our parents' days. I think even now, if I wanted to quit, technically, we it could depends survive. what life you want to be. Yeah, yeah, I was going to yeah, say yeah, lifestyle, yeah, yeah, what, yeah, what, what you prioritize, yeah, yeah, but the yeah. lifestyle that I like, yeah. I don't know that so, so did we answer the question? I don't know. Did we, yeah, did we? Yeah, 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 yeah. That, was, that was the moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was the yeah. moment. Was the moment. But I still think it had to evolve. So I still think that we're a lot better, I yeah. think, five years into the marriage or 10 years into the marriage and as also, opposed to the beginning. I guess also, <laughs> when you don't have much, there's not much to plan. <laughs> 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 yeah, just talking about the idea and the philosophy of it, right? Yeah. Uh, if, you are managing, if you are managing much more, I think the principle still stands mm-hmm. and, and all the things you agree with. But I think there was one point, I don't know where we, we have reached there, but this conversation, right, right, yeah. right, where we had to agree rules <laughs> to having oh yes the financial conversation you know things like you know, how much do you loan without informing your spouse that's yeah. one wow. you know wow uh, that's like, deep you yeah. know there are some conversations there are some decisions that you take without having to yeah check. just check yeah okay. check in okay. like what's that threshold yeah, yeah. what's that threshold yeah. that will make okay. my spouse yeah, I was hearing some numbers something like yeah. I gave so and so a loan of how much I said how much yeah yeah and, <laughs> and even borrowing hmm. is yeah. a thing as well you know okay. how much are you willing to let your spouse not let but without your spouse informing yeah, yeah. you're going to this yeah. debt mm. amount of debt you mm, know interesting. those mm. kind of things other rules where you know where we are having the conversations about budgeting you, yeah. you know yeah. there shouldn't be no. any time crunch you know yeah. it's not something that we're rushing somewhere no shouting preferably we should have like a glass of wine <laughs> just to come okay. take the edge off because you know if you are discussing those things when you're in a situation where you guys are broke or something you know it can impact how you address each other. Yeah, true. Kind of true. Yeah. Anyway, we'll come, we'll, we'll come mm. to that. Okay. I think you've already touched on some parts of the question that sorry, I wanted sorry. to ask mm-hmm. by, you know, identifying that moment where there could have been friction in the finances. Mm-hmm. But I think I want you guys to touch, put more light in terms of what other issues. Was it like maybe savings, investment? How did you have to like handle those? They're looking at each other. <laughs> Let me go. Let me go. go ahead. We had different <laughs> uh, opinions about. And let's talk investment. about the elephant in the room as well. I feel like one of the things that I like to spend money on that you can't stand is like fashion and like designer. Yeah, we can't so, talk about. Yeah, so, let's, so I feel like earlier on when designers was a lot cheaper. So Tosi met me like this. I've always liked designer stuff, right? Mm-hmm. But back then it wasn't like you know one thousand for a pair. She was like yeah, you know four hundred yeah. or two hundred, and you could you know save your money, your lunch money to get that those kind of things back in the day. So you were like, I don't understand why you're spending so much on whatever. I'm thinking, wow, but, I but you met okay, sorry, that. but like yeah, <laughs> I <don't understand laughs> but I don't understand why. like why you're spending this kind of money. So I think it got to it had to be a part of like knowing what each person's um, I appreciate. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah but want. you know we all have those vices, right? Yeah. So some yeah. some people might be cars. Some it. people I might be tired. I get it. In my Although, defense, I don't know your advice. Yeah, in my defense, I don't mind. Buy whatever with your money, right? Mm. I'm just saying. You heard that here. Yeah, yeah. 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 I'm I'm a radio. Radio. I'm a yes, yes. But it just needs to be relative to your income and you, how mm. much you, you heard that afford. here. Yeah, that's all. Like, it's your money. Do what you want, right? Not really. It's our money. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm talking about back then. Oh, okay. Back okay. then. Before now, marriage. Now we have more responsibilities, you know, mm, and things like yeah. that. So, I mean, your child will take precedence over any bag or any yeah um you know mm, and true. and so i guess there must have been moments where you know, the issue around managing finances were arguments you know frustration and and all, all type of things so can you just share with us 
how much strain that puts on your relationship at that time when things were really going tough. Yeah. Not not that there wasn't money, but how money was managed and the differing views. How did you manage that? Oh, we, we didn't even answer that question. So the differing yeah. views were um, Agogo felt at some point we needed to have a oh, pot yes. of cash. Okay. Em- emergency cash. Okay. Which okay. is which makes. Sense. 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 He sense. was opposed to it. Yeah, and there was a figure to it. I think it was like 10K. Ten k. Is it always ten percent of your salary? They say. Yeah, they, they say you should be able to survive nine months. Oh, oh, I think I, I some say nine, three, some say six, six, some say three. Depends on what your lifestyle. Exactly. Depends on your lifestyle. My number is always well. Back then it was ten k. Now it might be a bit more. Yeah, I always said we should have ten. And then he would say, "Oh, why should we have it? You know, cash because we're making interest." So my 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 relationship with money is it's there as a means to an end. Like mm, it shouldn't okay. just be. It's not an ending itself. It's not. Yeah, yeah, you shouldn't just be there. You shouldn't be looking at money. Money should be like on the Make run. It, yeah. it yeah. should be somewhere. Yeah, 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 exactly, exactly. So I didn't buy into savings, even for emergency cash. I was like, that's why you have credit cards. Just go and use credit cards. But obviously, you can't pay for everything with a credit yeah. card, right? So that was a bone of contention for a while, and it came back and beat me in the behind because, <laughs> <laughs> mm. yeah, there were times where we needed that cash and we had to go and borrow. And then that's when it just became an issue because it was like, oh, yeah, yeah, you know, I told you, I told you. And now you're putting the family in a position where you now have to go outside the, the family. Yeah. Not even deep into the no, pot, no go pot outside. Pot. There was no yeah. point yeah. to at the time <laughs> okay. because everything was either invested. Okay. But in fact, all of it was either invested or, or in or pensions. Or, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So she was like, yeah, I told you. But yeah, now, and for her, I think the family reputation was a, you know, a big thing, you know. Yeah. Don't be going outside to ask for money outside mm. our yeah. family. Yeah. Mm. But me, I just saw it as uh, that's where my guy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. My money's working for exactly, me. Exactly. Yeah. I'm going yeah. yeah. for my guy. It's zero interest. Yeah. Like, why is that a big deal? Yeah. You know, but different. Um, you know, different. That's that. Principle. Yeah, that that was actually my next question. Like, what triggered that? You know, that decision to like, okay, let's to set some money. Yeah, exactly. I th- what was it? What was what? the situation that what? made me change my mind? I need, was needing a bulk of money and we didn't have the bulk of money. Yeah, do you remember the story? I think we were doing our bathrooms and we budgeted like 15 grand and it ended up being like maybe like 20 or something like that. And I was like, see, <laughs> if we would have had that, uh, <laughs> that extra five, you could have oh, just right. dipped yeah, into and it. And it just makes sense. It and to be fair, sense. to be fair to Tosin as well, um, he's contra- he was contracted, so the money was going to come like in a month or two. But mm-hmm. I was just thinking we could have had it immediately. And, and again, the whole thing of like, why ask if we could have yeah, had you it already? from yourself, basically. Yeah, yeah. And then also, to to be fair to Tosin as well, I remember the loan for me when we got the house. And I was thinking, Ugh, why would you even do that? But now I'm thinking, that was actually a good I never told you that was actually a good wow <laughs> this, this, this <laughs> is you know, you know. See, I've never admitted it's a very good issue wow I see, I see. <laughs> I the equity what we have the one the equity on the house I'm just thinking darn he was kind of right so sometimes you have difference of opinions but eventually you kind of come to the same yeah. common ground yeah. so okay. yeah. Yeah. yeah 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 Um, I know we all laughed but I actually didn't get that point so with regards to the house you talked about that you just exclusively um, told us today that yeah, you're just <laughs> yeah so, so what happened yeah. was um i always had in my mind that i wanted to get a house before marriage, before marriage. right so okay. it was something that once she said yes it was something that was my next goal buy this house buy this house it was so crazy that i decided to buy the house without her <laughs> Okay. Her inputs, okay. you know, yeah, because yeah, I'm the one that chose the house. We came, you, know, we now, you saw it, you but then it. you were like, "Let's go and look for more options." Okay. I was like, "No, okay. this is it." Like, oh, okay. because okay. I had plans in my head for it because okay. it was on different levels. I wanted to rent out one level, oh, okay. and which I did for a while. Yeah. <laughs> That's another yeah, 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 story. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay. um, so I think what happened was there was about one k left. You know when you want to buy a house, so there's lots sometimes. of other fees, oh, misses, yeah. and other things. Yeah. 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 yeah, and this was the first one I was buying, so I did factor some other things, okay. and there was like I think like one k left. Like okay. now it doesn't seem that much, but then it was like there was nothing else. Mm. So I just told my friend and my guy, he just spotted me the money, right? Mm. And when I told her, she was like, you know that whole thing of you're going outside the family oh, to okay. ask. For. Okay. That was yeah. Okay. And we had just finished the wedding so she was like no no we could have saved we wouldn't have done this on the yeah. wedding okay. we, wouldn't have, we wouldn't have done okay. that we wouldn't have done that and we would have had this money I'm like, it's not a big deal this is my guy okay. <laughs> uh, you know i sorted him quite i wasn't talking about that long oh okay which talking about the talking about? that she used to get additional money for the house oh okay that long okay yeah 
So initially, I was like, why didn't we just wait as opposed to getting the loan? Oh, okay, oh, okay. to get the help. I thought you were talking about the other one. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. It made sense because yeah. it's a low interest loan and it, okay. and it paid off yeah. in the end. Yeah. Okay. And we now use yeah. that money for equity for another investment. So that's what I'm saying. Like, it paid off in the end. It did, okay. It did. Oh, yeah. oh okay. okay. Sorry, I thought you were talking about the other one. <laughs> no, no, I wasn't. There have been lots of loans here. If, you, if you're here, Tosin, I mean, good it's good debt. Good debt. <laughs> okay. Yeah, good debt. I'm not used to borrowing money from people. Can I just jump in quickly? So there was a time when you. You raised that point around you rented a part of the house. Yeah, yeah. but not for it. Yeah, was that until she saw the cash coming in? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. In fact, I sent it, it to her account. Yeah, <laughs> the rent. <laughs> yeah, ask your question. So, I mean, like, yeah. because obviously that is Lodgers. someone, yeah, someone coming into your space. Mm-hmm. How did that, how did you navigate that? So, you so gonna, are you gonna be 100% honest? You so, can't, so, so, you can't say certain <laughs> things, but I yeah. mean, the lodgers are there, so if they listen to it, but <laughs> no, I'm I, talking about a criteria, but yeah, but we know our criteria, yeah, 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 okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, we sat down and talked about it first, you know, um type of tenant we wanted mm-hmm. um and you know we interviewed the tenant and it's not right about it it's not a nigerian thing like there's no nigerian or mm. i dare say african that you speak to very rarely there's some there's some like Tunji. um but you know that whole thing of having strangers in my home mm-hmm. is not a thing with us uh, yeah. that we're yep. used to but you know it's something i got from another person i saw him doing it i was like okay. this, this makes sense this makes yeah. like yeah. it just makes sense Listen, uh, it made sense and it did it did at the mm. time so i think it it does impact your space but we yeah. didn't know anything better because that's how we started out mm. it mm. only like maybe how many years later seven years later when we when we had a child no but, but before him we had stopped yeah yeah but yeah. you fell pregnant okay. no and he had a left before zero was around him. No, he le- yeah okay yeah 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 so so and that that's said, our very good friend yeah actually. yeah his godfather, godfather and yeah. when when we when we said once the kids come this is over you know, you can't yeah. you can't have strangers around your kids so before that though it was almost like we didn't know any better we didn't know what privacy was as mm. a couple mm-hmm. so to us it was there's always someone in the house. yeah there was always someone in the house yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. but the way the house was structured we had our end suite at the top okay. so that was our private space okay. and then the two rooms at the middle floor okay. was for the lodgers and then downstairs was for everyone but they, they were all ke- they all kept to themselves they come they down and get their, their room food, go back yeah. to their room so mm-hmm. you know at the point in time we we're always like ah aren't you guys going to yeah, like socialize, socialize. Yeah, yeah, yeah yeah it was yeah. actually good to have people around during the pandemic COVID. yeah, yeah. COVID. It, was, oh. it was it was a great it was a time together yeah, I'm just yeah, I'm just here thinking totally different from how I grew up because yeah. yeah, it was just a very small family. So for me, when I heard it the first time here in the UK, I'm mm-hmm. like, what? <laughs> like, who does that? Like, I, I, and honestly, I'll start thinking of the darkest thing that could ever yeah. Yeah. happen. Yeah. My yeah, mind yeah, naturally yeah, goes yeah, there. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like that too, and that's yeah. not the case yeah. really. Yeah. That's not. It can be though. It yeah. can be. Yeah, yeah. and that's why I said we prayed about it. Like, if I if you came into the house and you you mm-mm, not this one, like that kind of thing, and we we never had any issues with i would even dare say that people came to our house and left better like we mm-hmm. had one guy yeah. come and literally we were talking to him about like you know like our professions and how we were like doing things in life he got he, he just got a job out of nowhere yeah. and got promoted and he yeah. was out in like three but two months yeah. or something wow. like that yeah. but wow. like yeah so wow. i think i dare say we've also been in positive impact a lot of them that stay with us as likewise well. the other way okay. Okay. yeah so okay, i think if you get the right the right person yeah. Yeah. yeah okay okay and that's also a very good way to make more money like you said yes. yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. holiday yeah. so basi- we basically the, the rent was paying our mortgage wow. and then we had some on top of so okay. so to our dear listeners <laughs> you can yeah like like if you're single said, Mm-hmm. It's something yeah. to consider. If you have kids, yeah. you do not do that. Yeah. That's not safe. Yeah. I mean, even uh, married, uh, there's a thing to say that. I think you should, you should also know yourselves. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's you two of you agree on it, why not? But, yeah. you know, if you're single, it's something to consider because you paid for all the traveling we're doing then. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, we had money left over. Investing. We're li- living free, like free in, that, in, our, in the house we bought mm-hmm. okay. because they were paying all our mm-hmm. money. And you through. were traveling. Yeah, there's one time we even put it on Airbnb and moved in with friends. A friend, <laughs> but, but listen, <laughs> but during the festival, <laughs> listen, the festival, I was say that yeah, we've we sweated our asses. That's how I'm thinking about it. We've definitely, yeah, we have, yeah, we have yeah, like yeah. when it comes to when money, I think, money, yeah, oh, most good. of, yeah, that's why you're here anyway. So, yeah. 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 yeah, but I think even how we, well, I guess you're gonna, I don't, I don't know if you're gonna ask about how we actually manage money on a month to month basis. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah sorry. So what I wanted to ask, I, I understand that you've done some counseling, yeah. but I just wanted to know how 
that has played a role towards like you know your journey towards financial management because all the stories yeah. you guys are saying right mm -hmm. it just shows that you've yeah. you've learned lessons and you've mm -hmm. been able to manage your finances so yeah. how has that particular aspect played in your financial management should i go that was way before uh, counseling. I feel like counseling didn't happen until after we had a son. Yeah. And then um, I think a friend was just like, I think I need therapy. So we <laughs> said, you know what, let's, let's and try. And we already said we'll do it. Yeah, we've, we've always, to, I think we improve. have, yeah, to improve ourselves. Yeah. But I think, so we went to a therapist and we had like two um, criteria, a Christian and something else, I can't remember. Um, and then when we got there, he's like, you guys will need therapy. Life experience. Need, yeah, yeah. yeah, life experience. Well, an older person. Yeah, mm -hmm. and a family yeah. person possibly yeah. as well. Um, and then he was like, you guys don't need therapy. You, you need counseling. I said, oh, yeah. that's that's great. Because apparently um, therapy is like when people there's have like an, very like deep-rooted issues. Okay. The step before divorce. Oh. <laughs> no, 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 no. He said people who are like very troubled and they have like deep-rooted issues yeah. and they need to have somebody to speak to to yeah. get through their issues okay. and to talk to. So, that's, so, so that's counseling. therapy is heavier. Heavier and, long, and more long term, yeah, 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 and then okay. counseling. counseling it can be heavy, but it's more. It can also be heavy, but I think okay. it's a time frame. Okay. So counseling can be short term. So you can go to counseling, let's say for like an issue at your job. While okay. if you're having an issue as getting a job or giving, you know, what I'm saying, being a professional, you might yeah. need therapy to become a better professional. Deep, okay. deep rooted yeah. trauma. Okay. That's, yeah, yeah, that's yeah, for yeah. And, and long term. Okay. So how we impacted? Yeah, I think so. We, we have very specific topics that we talked about during counseling right okay. and i think the key one that impacts finances is communication mm. i you dare know. say communication impacts everything oh yes yeah, yeah. but in yeah. regards to it was you know we talked about other stuff yeah. <laughs> so yeah, 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 yeah. communication is the one that i think you know it, it impacts everything mm -hmm. how it impacts finances okay so we how the mechanics of it is we've got a spreadsheet a mm. shared spreadsheet mm. okay that, that we that makes sense yeah 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 <laughs> so um the other ways you can do it is everyone sees everyone's accounts on apps right hmm. well apps okay. i've actually done a bit of research on this why couples don't use apps more because if you a lot of couples have asked they come down to this excel spreadsheet mm -hmm. i think it's because it's the simplest way apps you have to learn you have okay. to input things you okay. can connect it to your bank account and all that okay. what I'm still trying to convince her to let's use an app okay. after using one. Um, but that's the mechanics, right? We, we, we put all our direct debits on the spreadsheets and then oh, one -offs. and the one-offs. So the okay. things that you spend. So why, how is it relevant to communication? Is because when, when you're inputting on the spreadsheet, I think you, because if you think about it, most of our bills are automatic. You don't have yeah. to. Yeah. So pretty much every month you know how much is going out mm -hmm. and you, you know, you know. <laughs> but then there comes the <laughs> one off yeah there's one offs <laughs> and there was a time where we agreed that you know we'll, we'll give each other allowances mm -hmm. you know you get an allowance, you get an allowance. Those days. I know right <laughs> mm -hmm. um, but then talking about what are the things that cause friction the topics the actual topics yeah I think so I, th I, I think mainly it was the one-offs. No, I know what it was. Can we can I tell the story? Which one? The um, the Amex. Yeah, yeah. No, that's recent. Though. That's recent. Okay. <laughs> that's okay. recent. So that's I recent. think I think I think what caused the friction was savings. So I would say, oh, how how much did you put into savings to save oh, this amount? Yeah. And I'll say, so I'm very like quick math, like. I'm like, but no, you should have been able to save this much. Why yeah. didn't you save this yeah, much kind so, of thing? Yes, so, that was the key okay. thing. I it think sometimes your tone, tone and how you talk about it. So yeah. one key thing they've said in which can which uh, which in therapy that we've learned, uh, sorry, counseling that we've learned is communication. So um, he taught us that there's something called PAC, so P A C. So okay. there's something called parents. Okay. So you're talking to somebody as a parent, talking okking. to somebody as an adult, so talking to somebody as a child. Tone. And it should never be P or C. It should always be A. If you ever get into a conversation where a tone turns to a parent, to a child, or a child to a parent, mm -hmm. stop the conversation okay. and only and come back once you can talk to an adult to an adult. Basically, everyone has these three people in them: yeah. the parent, the child, and the adult. Mm, okay. And the best form of communication is an adult talking to an adult. Mm -hmm. okay. Yes, but if you if you find that your tone is very parent parental or child. Yeah. the other like, person might assume the yeah. child's um Position, persona yeah. and then that's not good it's condescending because it's condescending yeah. the person will feel Terrible. resented mm -hmm. even if yeah. they don't you know snap back and things mm -hmm. like that so at that point the communication has broken down yeah um so it was things like that right and i was always like no, in, in my head in my head right once now. you spend money right <laughs> it's, it's gone gone like don't bother me about reconciliation like it's gone. There's nothing you can do about it. I don't it's, think it's, like that. We yeah. can find it. But she wants to figure out. 
yes. the accountant you know she doesn't know she wants to figure out why did not just where did it go why it go? and if there's like two pounds left like come on like we're not poor no. we don't need to do all that mental gymnastics and see and people so outside used to get to a okay, point so. where i'm like okay don't worry i'll print out my statement and wow. then you can go through i'm not doing it <laughs> so it was those kind of very petty petty okay. you know low level fights yeah. that okay. and you spend a lot of mental and emotional energy on it and mm. at the end of it first of all you don't get anywhere secondly we're both in a bad mood mm. so no one was, is listening exactly anymore, exactly right, and yeah. you know i think the the conversations we should be having is oh what percentage are we going to save every month every month or we should be saying oh should we invest in this what do we what are our mm. goals you know those mm. really future looking things but then because we've gotten into this spot about yeah. you know <laughs> and it wasn't about what you spent it on or the amount you spent it was just the Your fact mindset that behind it. yeah and apart from that the way we were communicating because mm. what another thing uh, we got from counseling was that you need to prioritize your partners not you need to Feeling. it's beneficial if you prioritize their emotional well-being mm-hmm. because that's the bedrock of being right or wrong mm. yeah 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 rather than mm. being right how is best in feeling and listen doesn't feel the like, counselor that doesn't take sides that doesn't take sides yeah you can be like <laughs> Hmm. what do you mean <laughs> okay. so was i if, wrong i wasn't yeah. <laughs> yeah so if you feel you're right and you keep hammering on it okay and it's detrimental to the person and you see it's detrimental to the person and you still continue going yeah whatever you're saying it doesn't mm. matter it won't mm. enter right mm. so it was that kind of thing if you prioritize each other's emotional well-being like even before you start a conversation do you actually want to have this conversation mm. now mm. you know are you pressured from work you know it might be something are you hungry <laughs> 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 you know, it might be something to, that has nothing to do with what you're yeah. about to talk about, but the person's emotional state is not ready mm, yeah. to have this crucial conversation. Mm. Cru- they say crucial conversations in the book. It says uh, crucial conversation is anything that has high stakes and it, it will run high in emotions. Mm. So that's a very key part that I think helped. Yeah. Mm, okay. Right now, yeah, right. And now, yeah, go ahead. So, so I was going to say, it sounds like the, the key, based on what you said so far, the key mm. tool that has really helped is communication. Definitely. Absolutely. Communication, yeah. Absolutely. And yeah. Then, but then bringing it down to the practical level, mm-hmm. so communication around, let's have this conversation. You guys yeah. are more open with each other. Yeah, and it's more free-flowing, yeah. right? Yeah. It's, it's no longer, oh, sit down. Oh, yeah open the laptop yeah, you know right. it, it wasn't yeah. like very transactional it's almost yeah. like it's over lunch okay so yeah what did you mm. what did we we agreed this mm. how far have you yeah. gotten there have you yeah. there? okay that's fine we can pick it up next week you know it was okay, okay. It's, it's now that type of conversation and i think yeah, that, that's part of so where i'm taking that conversation around the practical side of it have yeah. you been navigating the practical side of yeah. managing your money so, so you've mentioned some of it which is you've got an excel sheet yeah. Yeah. yeah and what other ways practical ways are you managing so so, so once a month mm um we have to put something towards savings that one is already ingrained okay. you know something has to go towards saving, even if it's five pounds let's okay. let's make it very trivial mm. okay. right and that that habit so you know that when your money comes in whatever happens you have to act, you're accountable to the other person when the other person asks okay how much did you put in savings this mm-hmm. month you're accountable right so we have goals at the beginning of the year which we review you know what we want to get as family goals Mm -hmm. and then whatever you're putting in saving goes into the family pot and then we jointly decide how the family pot gets split you know there'll be capital projects investments and then there'll be do whatever you want okay (laughs) Okay, so that sits that waits to like when like maybe the end of the year or it's like a month it's monthly monthly. monthly. at the the end of that so initially what (laughs) I'm gonna tell my secret. Mm-hmm. Initially, I would get paid. I'm like, okay, I need to buy this, 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 this. And I'll just put everything in a spreadsheet and say, oh, I mean, I only have one thousand left for the, <laughs> for the. But but then I started thinking that's actually not fair. So like now, when I get paid, I try to do my one-offs as soon as possible, okay. and I'll put the money into the savings account as soon as possible. Because notice that when you do that, you save more mm-hmm. as yeah. opposed to letting the whole month go. Because you're gonna, yeah. if you have money, you're gonna spend. You're gonna, you're gonna spend keep it. on spending yeah. it, spending it. So I think that's one thing we've learned more so too. That like if we put a certain save first, spend after. Exactly. Yes, yeah. exactly. And, and that's, that savings account is you don't nice see now. it you don't see it okay. yeah we yeah. try to make sure you don't but you see can't it. dip into it you can't like get money from it immediately and when i say yeah, you don't okay. see it, like physically it's you, can, you, you cannot on your, on your, access on your, on your phone it. okay the the app because it, we just look for the the account with the, the banks 
with the biggest savings, savings yeah. okay. percentage. Yeah. Yes, it might change. And, like, that, and that, change that bank app yeah. is like on screen four on my phone. So okay. I literally cannot can see it. See it. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think it does something okay. yeah. because it's there, but you, you don't want to okay. consciously see it. Right. But I will say, I think, I think early on in a relationship, I made less because I started off in my career. Mm-hmm. And then I think the more we made, the less we were worried about finances. And then... Then I, I got to another jump and I was, it was like, hey, hey, hang on, hang on. You're making a, a certain, a certain amount. And let's go back to this spreadsheet. Thing. So I, think, I think for about yeah, two years, yeah. we weren't doing a spreadsheet. Yeah, we didn't do a spreadsheet. And that's when I was flash. I think I was buying everything I wanted. <laughs> um, <laughs> and then it came back to the spreadsheet, I think, right before Corey. Yeah, I think I the think, general okay. principle is yeah. you have these big things you want to do. As long as you hit those big things, the target. Yeah. Yeah. The rest, okay. is, the rest okay. is like, yeah. just live life. Like, money is a means to an end. I don't believe that. Money I, is so I, I listened to a recent. I still don't believe that. I listened yeah. to a recent um, guy, Podcast. yeah, and he was like, you know what? This w- w- thinking about saving, he, 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 I think he argued against the coffee, you know, save. If you don't pounds. drink a coffee a day, mm-hmm. yeah. you know, you save seven pounds every day, okay. and that could make you a millionaire. He was like, that's just so such small thinking. Yeah. Like mm-hmm. this coffee mm-hmm. is going to make you happy in the morning. You look <laughs> forward to it. Drink the <laughs> damn coffee, right? In the in the long span of things, when they ask people, what do you do with the coffee money? They really don't know. <laughs> so what you should actually be doing is saying, what percentage of what we're earning yeah. is going to yeah. this? Exactly. What percentage? And those are your targets. And try and meet them. The rest. Chop life, eh? so yeah. cases whereby maybe you don't meet the target, or mm. maybe there's just a bit of misunderstanding. It's normal because I'm married, I know sometimes yeah. you. Mm-hmm. How do you kind handle of set to this? How do you handle it? I think it's gotten really good now. I remember one year, this is this is probably six years ago. Mm-hmm. Stoss was asking where the money for the um for the thing go. I was like, I don't know. He said, I know where it went, <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, Where did it go? He said, Those, those, those Christian Louboutins. I was just like. <laughs> Yeah, maybe he says, I mean, how much is it? It's okay. Don't worry. Like, so I feel like now we kind of like, yeah. I feel like we've, yeah, we kind of yeah. understand like what our yeah. vices are and, and, and I as think, long as we're meeting the overall yeah. goal, we're okay with it. Okay. Also, if you prioritize your relationship over money, mm-hmm. that helps. So let me give you another example. That's something that happened last week that I'm just like, I can't even let go of it. Comes, I'm like, hey, it's only 11 pounds, right? So it's supposed to me to return <laughs> something <laughs> and I put the wrong label on the wrong package, right? Okay. Um, and he's like, oh, I, I told you the box wasn't closed. I said, yeah, but it was a box in the trunk. So I thought it was that box. So we tried to go back to the post office and say I closed and and he said how much is it 11 pounds I beg it's, it's, it's not that deep but me I'm thinking it's 11 pounds that we now have to work for to get back kind of thing right <laughs> so three days later I was like Tosin um, did you call every to get the back pocket but Tosin was like really AG 11 pounds and I was just like oh yeah, I, okay. I, I, I agree. You fight for every, you fight for. Every I mean, it's a, it's a good mentality yeah. because if you let one pee go, the next day, yeah, you listen, let, yeah, let's on the agree. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 And then to go with it, so um, you guys have talked about it, but you've not nailed it on the head. So okay. there's the when in relationships, people either do, I have my account, you have your account, you mm. pay mortgage, I pay that, yeah. or they stick all the money in one account mm-hmm. and then things run yeah. from there. So yeah. which model are you both following? Yeah. So. Ours was a bit complicated because she was coming from the States. So yep. credit rating was was non existent. Yep. So we had to Energy bills. Yeah, give her a, a lot of the high utilities to help her, to help her build that credit up. But not the mortgage. Great. Yeah, no, no, it's not. It's not, not the details yeah. of yeah. who does what. No, I'm just saying. Yeah. Yeah. I have a friend that just so, so we, you know, you know so we currently have yeah. separate yeah. accounts. Yeah. Yeah. Separate accounts. And we yeah, use this the spreadsheet. No, no, there's no joint account. Okay. No. The so it's a separate savings. savings. Oh, yeah. But we use okay. the spreadsheet acts like the joint account yep. because that's where all Everything. the transactions Everything. are. Okay. So you literally know you should, on a joint account you'll have incoming, your okay. income, you'll have okay. my income. If you yeah. have a bonus that month, if you yeah. have anything coming in surplus, yeah. you have okay. that. It's like a balance so you kind of know, okay, this month you have X amount and we should save this amount. So we don't really have need to have a joint account because yeah. we have the trust and we have okay. all that there. But we do have a joint savings account. And yeah. Kind of and I, I think early on, I think we just we just kind of thought it's just yeah. not really needed. I mean, we might have one. I'm not against it, yeah. but we don't. We don't I think we it. also use that tool to find opportunities. Like, for instance, if you hear about something on an Instagram video that's, you know, that says, oh, this pension account is better, we just write it down there so that when, during the month, okay. when we're reviewing it, we'll yeah, be like, okay, see, remember this, yeah, yeah, uh-huh. like overpaying your mortgage. Just mm-hmm. remember that, oh, we need to actually put more so that we can reduce the term. Okay. Okay. Yeah, okay. pay it off okay. sooner. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I so mean, this stuff isn't easy, to be honest. Um, and different couples, I think, have different ways of doing ways of things. Things. I think what's yeah. key is, if you nail those things like the um 
the relationship things. Mm-hmm. The money thing wouldn't be an issue. It'll fall in place. Yeah, it yeah. won't be an issue, really. I think you're saying that because we're privileged to be in a place where money isn't an issue. Mm-hmm. If money was an issue, it would definitely be a... It, would, yeah, it could definitely well, like, call into... Like, in, what in terms sense? of our salaries. Okay. So we are, we're in a privilege where we make enough where we can actually plan to save. Some people are living paycheck to paycheck. Mm. If we were in that situation, paycheck to paycheck, it would be an issue. Yeah, yeah. 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 A loving relationship yeah. wouldn't be no. Yeah, yeah. yeah. exactly. Yeah. 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 And that's when like, people say, oh, said. love isn't enough. I, yeah. I, I always said that, that uh, having money is in everything. But not having, but not it, having is. it is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That actually leads to the question that I wanted to ask. So for people who are looking to like start long-term relationships or commitments, mm-hmm. would you say that this should be on the list of conversations that they should have before saying I love you <laughs> before saying I love you yeah I don't know I'm a lover so I don't know um, I didn't think of like money in my head like oh, I must marry this rich man but I mean, but now, the case. With what you know with now, what you know based on your own sides. experience so, so I think I think you should let him answer I think, I think as should, a man it's different than a I woman I think two things so. right so a long term relationship might not be marriage okay mm-hmm. or any civil relationship that you're entering into with a contract definitely talk about money that mm-hmm. one I was saying mm-hmm. right but then there's the other thing of um, understanding the person's relationship with money okay. because there are some people who grew up mm-hmm. and you know they grew up hearing I can't afford it we can't afford it mm-hmm. we can't afford it mm-hmm. those people w- if they don't change if they don't consciously act to change that mindset no matter how many millions they have mm-hmm. they will never have the abundance mindset which is let's take risk mm-hmm. let's invest mm-hmm. you always be let's save let's save so cutting yeah. costs rather mm-hmm. than trying to increase Revenue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, so okay. I think it's important to understand the person's relationship with money, money. because money okay. is not just material. Hmm. It's a, you know, it's a relationship. It's a spirit. Relationship. It's a yeah. yeah. I was gonna say, money is a spiritual. I was gonna say spirit, but you don't go spiritual. No, but yeah. I do think. I mean, the Bible has so many different ways for us to talk about Absolutely. how we manage our money, right? Um, as someone who's turning forty. Yes, no, I do think no, I, yeah, I am in December. Me, yes, go, go. I do think money is a very important thing. However, I think now I, I this might sound very, I don't want to sound, let it sound, let it sound. No, no, <laughs> this way, this way. okay. So, like, I look back at like maybe guys that I had crushes on or dated, and every single one of them in hindsight was like, nah, that couldn't have worked because like family dynamics and like upbringing and like so how you think about money. But I think it's also family dynamics, right? So, you like, we have families where if something did happen, we could say, oh, let's call mommy for this, or let's call daddy for that, mm-hmm. right? And that's 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 sometimes that is also just as important as having money. So, I think family is also like, you know, how Asians they like come together and they let somebody mm, yeah. they stay in the house and they stay mm-hmm. together and all that kind of thing so I do think like sometimes family dynamics and how the family handles money and how the family views money is also just as important as you do because sometimes even if you don't have good money well, money. I don't know, how, I don't, I don't know how you can come from a good family that has money management but like if you don't have good money management somebody in your family that does can influence that person yeah. like accountability yeah. right mm-hmm. so yeah. I do think women should take money very seriously because mm-hmm. I do I see friends who have married men I don't want to say they've been, yeah. in the, they've I mean, been, but they, they, yeah, I feel like yeah, sometimes right. it can, it right. can, I it mean, can cause issues. We, we know, in we know people who it's in their families. It's normal to um, do the black tax thing, right? Yeah, they grew up with cousins, and they, you know, mm-hmm. and it's normal. It's if your cousin problems. calls you, you send them money. Easily. Yeah, okay. like it's not a thing. <laughs> and that's but, something that I don't. But wifey can be like, are you are you kidding? We have kids uh, to yeah. take care of. Yeah. Don't be sending money. Yeah. But for mm-hmm. the husband, but you can't do that sometimes. Sorry? You can't do that in some instances. That's, like, what, I'm, that's yeah, what I'm saying. Yeah, so yeah, it's, yeah, it's yeah. while you're entering your relationship, long term, short term, mm-hmm. medium term, those are I think those kinds of you know, no outright maybe not outrightly <laughs> just ask to yeah. ask, or maybe yeah, just, just into the conversation. Yeah, 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 yeah. Not on the first day, not on the second yeah. day. But yeah. it's important to have yeah. the conversation just yeah. because you want even if you just you, you the person is um different from the way you think about money or your relationship with money, at least you know. And you're yeah, good, yeah. So you know how to deal with it. <coughs> okay. because, uh, it's a deal breaker. Uh, okay. And I, so, uh, well, well, I, I just, just want to say one yeah. thing. And I came from a family, obviously being a Nigerian American, where every month my father would be paying for somebody's school fees. And I get it; it's great. But I just felt like, how much of that money that you always spend to your family every single month could have gone to your kids in the states or invested <laughs> in something else? So the two things that I always say I don't want to do when I get older, because of my experience growing up, is like this might sound like I'm not a giver. I am a giver. I just feel like sometimes that black test can be way 
way too much and it can go on to a different generation. I guess our privilege yeah. and families we have don't, mm. yep. don't yeah. realize. Yeah. Yeah. It all depends. And then no, what, no, no, no. You can have an uncle or auntie. You, you always got somebody somewhere that can, that can call no, to ask. Us. No, I have cousins like can definitely okay. be. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, just moving on. So, if you, what advice would you give couples that are probably struggling with money management? Like, <sighs> and not that they don't have money; it's well, just yeah. around the man yeah. 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 Can I be? Heck, am I going to be too like Nigerian auntie saying pray? Anything is pray. Yeah. I do think I I do think that if you go to God with everything, you can get sorted. So I think you should pray about it first as a Christian. Um, I also think that you should write things down. So I think sometimes most people don't know, don't know where their money is going because they, they don't actually don't see, see their money. They're yeah. just spending frivolously and they don't, they don't know where it goes. So I think you should actually like have a even mm. if you don't have a spreadsheet. So. Mm. I have a spreadsheet, but I also have a notes app in my phone, right? So every month I have my core bills that I know must go out every single month out of my account, right? So I'm the kind of person that tests my account like maybe, I dare say every day. I'm not going to lie to you. I check it every day. So if I see, you can't you can't scam me because if I see something on my account, I know that I didn't spend it. I'm calling the bank right then and there, right? So I feel like, I <laughs> feel like that's I, actually I, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Okay. Like you cannot. Because I saw really Spanish. Yeah. Apparently, you the same It happened yeah. to me. Somebody, somebody I, had a, I had a credit card that I did a bank transfer. I never spent anything on it. I saw a payment. I called my bank immediately she was just like what happened i said i don't know but it's not me <laughs> no, i didn't do any scamming please remove it from my account Honestly, right I've, that, I've got a couple of buckets i haven't checked in over a year ah, check that thing yeah. Yeah. check it check it so don't notify you. Don't okay. notify yeah yeah, yeah. Right. Not, they didn't notify me i saw it so <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um but i will say okay. that i think when people who spend frivolously sometimes it's like Tosin says it's a relationship with money and i think sometimes we don't see like again christian mindset um if you're a good steward of something, God will give you more. But if you're not a good steward of something, he's not going to give you more, right? So how can you have something you're not a good steward of it and ask for more, right? Mm -hmm. So I think what you have, be a good steward of it, mm -hmm. and then you'll be blessed with it. I feel also like people need to see money as a tool. So in as much as it's something that we can use to get, it's a tool to make more money. And the Bible also says, like, us having a kid um, to leave, um, what does it say, to leave, uh, well, well, for your future generations, mm -hmm. right? To leave an inheritance for your future generations. Yes. So I think the first thing is to actually write down and see mm -hmm. where the money is going. Are you spending it on actual needs? Um, can you cut down to mm -hmm. save? Um, and I think have a savings goal. I think even when it comes to pensions, I know that's one thing that I don't talk a lot, like to talk about a lot. Mm -hmm. um, Tosu was saying the other day, like, you know, uh, if you get a mortgage for like 30, I'm like 30 years, I'll be 50. He said, AG, <laughs> you're going to be you're gonna be 70. I said, ah, I'm 40, you know that, that, that kind of thing. So I think... Um, just write down what you want, okay. um, write down okay. and, so know, and know your money and, and know where it's actually going. Okay. Writing things down, okay. yeah. So yeah. just to keep keep things Tabs. because of time, okay. yeah, yeah, because yeah. of time. Mm -hmm. um, I think we've got a tradition. Yeah, so mm -hmm. yeah. we we have a tradition on the show where um, we have our guests leave an advice for the next guest that will be coming. So the person that was here before, Severiano Gomez, mm -hmm. um, he said that you should be on the radar of the decision makers. Okay. So I'll just start with you first, Agogo. What would you leave our next guest as an advice? And in the interest of time, it needs to be like 10 seconds each. <laughs> just so okay, in terms of finances? Anything in general. Anything. We don't know who the next guest is. Yeah, next we don't know who the next is. So guest just what be. advice do you have? Um, I don't think so. So I have a business. Mm -hmm. I, I have a creative business. And I think I've learned in the last year, because this year has been amazing for me business-wise, that keep God in center of everything. Mm -hmm. Like okay. no matter what the decision is, just pray to God. He will make a way for the doors that will open, that, that, that will be for you will open and those that, that will shut, will shut. But as long as God's in the center of it, what's mm -hmm. for you will be for you. So I just think that Fantastic. try as much as possible to keep him in the center of everything. And quickly, okay. do you want to tell our listeners the name of your business, where they can find your products? Sure. Because you've my, got amazing products. Thank you. Yeah. My name, my business is called Leia I Lacey. absolutely love this one. It's coming soon. It's coming oh, soon. I can't wait to uh, It's a sustainable one. and ethical hand handcrafted um, luxury brand I use artisans in West African countries and soon to be Kenya as well oh, lovely. Um, and I, you can find me on leahlacy.com on Instagram TikTok Pinterest Twitter X Threads everywhere, <laughs> Leia Lacey. Fantastic, Leia <laughs> yeah. Lacey. Fantastic. Can you tell us what advice do you have? Um, she has given the God one so let me give another one. I agree with her as well. Um, I think it's have a bias for taking action. Mm -hmm. right okay. um and that comes from you know if you have thoughts about what you want to do but you're still sitting on those thoughts just you know just do it mm -hmm. do it and, and then learn from it mm -hmm. yeah. perfect 
Thank you so much. Uh, thank you very much. Thanks. Diary of a CEO does the same thing. Like, yeah. yeah. They copied us. They copied you guys. Who came first? Thank you for joining us. Uh, yeah. I've enjoyed today. I've enjoyed the conversation mm-hmm. and hopefully the same guests here. would enjoy it as well. It's mm. been amazing having you both on the show. Thank and you And so that's much. all we have for our guests um, this week. It's been moments with Shade yeah, and Enoch. Yeah. Thanks for having Juliet us. Juliet as well and we've got our amazing guests. Go wise Juliet. <laughs> <Yep. laughs> <laughs> Fashere with Shade. <laughs> amazing to sing and yes. Agogo. And until next time, thank you. See you and later, bye. guys. Bye. Thank, thank you. Bye.